Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about curriculum design. Curriculum as you know is the totality of learning experiences which are planned and guided by school or educational institutions to achieve certain goals. And to achieve these goals, curriculum has to be perfectly designed. Therefore, curriculum design is purposeful and way forward systematic organization of curriculum for a particular class. It may be called as blueprint for teacher to plan his or her instructions. It has following two purposes. First, to improve a student's learning and second, to ascertain progression of curriculum. Thus, it is only after that a child completes his junior curriculum, he is able to understand secondary curriculum. Curriculum design is basically of three types. First, subject-centered or commonly called as traditional curriculum design. Second, learner-centered. And third, problem or activity-centered design. Now, let's discuss about subject-centered design or commonly called as traditional design. Subject-centered design as the name itself suggests that it is centered around subject and not the individual or learner. It ignores individuals, motivations, interests, aspirations and needs. It is solely focused on providing tidbits of knowledge to the students. For example, core curriculum of English, Maths, Science, History and other subjects intends to provide ready-made doses of knowledge and ensure what and how to teach. It has following characteristics. It is based on subject specific and fixed like watertight compartments. It focuses knowledge enhancement and memorization of the content. It is oldest and of course the traditional and most familiar to all teachers, students and parents. It is not able to meet individual needs, interests and motivations and goals. It promotes lectures, instructions, question answers and classroom discussions. It does not permit freedom to students in their choice except elective courses or papers. It emphasizes knowledge, facts, ideas and skill acquisition. And finally, it is easy to develop and deliver. Well, this was all about subject-centered design. And in our coming video, we are going to discuss about learner-centered design. Thank you so much for watching this video.